Hello everybody. I just wanted to take a minute here to show you some different kind of electrical testers. Now this first tester I got here, this is basically a holiday light tester. It's for like the little lights you put on your Christmas trees and whatever you have. Now on this end, as you'll notice, there's a hoop one here with a little metal blade. And what the purpose of that is, if you look at these light bulbs, there's a little ring around the top before the glass. If you just start pulling on these on the glass, if you've ever done that, you'll know you'll pull a lot of the ones out. So to get the bulbs out of their sockets, you simply put this down over top, hook it, and work it into that little groove and you pick the light bulb up out, okay? You can also do it from this side. <clears throat> now these light bulbs have two little wires on the sides. You gotta make sure they're going up the sides well. You don't want to bend them out of the way. Now if you look, there's two contacts right here. Now if I put this in there, it'll light that bulb up okay now that's showing me that that bulb's good which I don't know if you've seen that or not because my batteries are weak in this thing <clears throat> now over here you got two terminals and what this is is for the newer lights that have fuses in them you can pull the fuse out and go across these two contacts with the fuse and if the fuse is good this light will light up okay and I can kind of show you that here Okay, that's the same as having a good fuse. I'm just making contact against the two terminals and that light lights up. Okay, now this other end is a flat metal thing in there that is an induction sensor. What this does is if you have a string of lights and you want to see if there's um, electric in the wires, you can simply push this button, hold this up against the wire, and it'll light that light up if there is electric. Now this is a lot heavier duty cord than what any Christmas lights are going to have it. Let's see if it works. There, you see? Now I got, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that light is kind of lit up. Okay? That's telling me that this is a live cord. And I can do that without touching wires or anything. It goes through the insulation. So that makes this a handy little tool to have. Okay? Now, for the next thing we'll show you is I got this screwdriver here. And it's just a little screwdriver. You can't get much torque on or nothing like that, but there's a metal blade on this end, okay? And then you got a light bulb in here and you got some batteries up here. Now, this screwdriver, if you put it in the neutral, you notice it doesn't do anything. You put it in the ground and it doesn't do anything. Now you put it in the hot wire and if you can see it lights up. So that's telling me that that has got power going to that terminal, okay? So this is also very cheap, but it's a handy little thing to have if you have no other electrical tester because even if it's your wall outlet or whatever, you can stick this in and see. Um, also another use for a lot of these testers, if you break a light bulb and you want to dig it out of the socket, you can actually touch up in there with this and see if there's power there or not, okay? Okay, that's for that tester. Now here what I got is two testers that are very similar, okay? They're both got two leads off of them and everything. Now this one here, it has for 110 volts, 220 volts, 277 volts, or 460 volts, okay? So what's going to happen is when I put this leads in to a 110, it's going to light up the 110 outlet on the bottom, the light. If it's in a 220, like if I was checking a dryer plug or something or welder plug going across the two hots, I could make 220 and that would light up here. 277 and 460 and so forth. So this not only will tell you if you have power, but it'll tell you if you got 110 or 220 or just what's going through it, okay? So that's kind of nice. This one here is basically the same thing, only it only tells you about the 110 power, all right? So let me show you how these work. You can plug this in, and as you can see, I have power. All right, so that's telling me that this is a live outlet, whether this be in your wall or wherever it could be. Now, there's another little test I can do with this, and we'll get on more of that later about the polarity, but there's a small terminal, a large terminal, and then you got the other one here that's a ground, okay? Now, the small terminal, and the big terminal here makes power go through. This is your hot and that should be your neutral, okay? Now, if I want to check and see if I have a ground, I can leave this in the hot, 
I can bring this lead over here to the neutral or I mean the ground and as you can see when I get it in the right spot there it lights up okay so that's telling me I know there's a ground wire hooked to this outlet and it's working okay now I can test to see if there's ground um, shorting out to the neutral or anything like that and make sure that that was a hot wire by simply going this way and I have nothing alright because I'm going across the neutral to the ground and there's no power there but now I go back to the hot and I touch either the neutral or I touch the ground which I have power so that's telling me that I have a hot wire and I have a ground and I have a neutral alright now we have some other kind of testers here another tester that we got is this jobby here it's a like a pin now they make several different types of these okay I've had several of these I've lost some I've broke some or whatever now this one takes a couple um, triple-a batteries I believe they're triple-a but that's nice because if you're somewhere working or something like that and you need batteries you can get them about anywhere so that is one feature I do like now some of the pins will have an on and off switch on them and whenever you turn them on a lot of them will light up and tell you that it's ready to go when you hit electric it'll change colors some of them have a sensitivity wheel on them that'll let you turn the sensitivity up or down depending on what your needs are now this one it it's got to be close contact to the wire no other wires if you're not touching the wire it's not going to light up and if you're touching a wire and there's another wire real close to it it won't bleed over and give you a false alarm which is nice if you're working in a group of wires or something with this one here now like I say with the sensitivity wheel though that some of them have it's kind of a multi-purpose because just say you had a wall outlet behind the, in the wall there and behind the drywall the wires are going you want to see which way they go well, a lot of them that are really sensitive you can hold this against the wall outlet and you'll see it lighten up and you can go up the wall and you can kind of trace where the power wire goes this one you can't do that with because it's got to be touching the wire or it won't go through nothing like that now it's all plastic up here unlike this metal one here this metal one you had to have metal to metal contact to make the light bulb light up this one here is all plastic on the end and it has a little tip on the end of it that you can stick down into an outlet now I can stick this in there and you can see I have power because I'm lit up and I also have the audible alarm going off I don't know if you can hear that okay so that's a little bit of how this pin works now if I stick this into the ground or if I stick this in the neutral it pretty much tells me nothing okay this good thing about this is just say I have Romex or if I'm working on a wall or something like that and I uncover some wires and I say hey are those hot what I can do I can take this pin here and I can rub up against the wire and if it lights up like that then I know there's power and see I don't have to be touching no metal at all you know I can go right through the insulation there's I don't have to worry about touching wires or nothing like that and it'll give you an audible beat telling you that, yes there's electric there now some of the cords the wires in there they'll be kind of twisted around a little bit and all so it's a good idea to take this and um, go ahead and rub it on the wire make sure that you're not getting a false reading nowhere now with this and all the other testers I'm going to show you here I should have told you to start with you should do a check on all your testers before you use it okay so if you have a wall outlet there that you know is good you can simply put these in there and see make sure that they light up and you know for sure that your tester is good before you test that way you don't um, trick yourself into thinking there's no electric there and it's just your tester <clears throat> but now like I say they have different models of these and some you have a sensitivity wheel and some you don't some are on all the time and just when they're setting um, with doing no movement at all if I just left it set there it would turn itself to where it doesn't use no power and eating the batteries up some other ones will have a button that you gotta push which I'll show you another one that does have that to make it light up but this is another one that's uh, about a twenty dollar item or so I mean they're, none of these are really very expensive now that leads me to this other one here this is my screwdriver okay this is I like this screwdriver this has an insulated 
shank on it. So that's if I'm back in an electric box or something like that and I get back in and touch some wires it won't arc because this is insulated. Now like I say this is a screwdriver so you have this pull out bit. Um, on either end you got replaceable bits on the end. I can turn this over and I just went to Phillips so now I have a flat screwdriver. This other end has a square point on it and I can turn it over and I got a Phillips. So I got two sizes of Phillips, a flat and a square. Any of your regular um, interchangeable bits will fit in here too so you can adapt this to pretty much anything you need. Um, which that's kind of a handy feature and this is a real handled screwdriver so you can get some torque and stuff on this you know now the other thing about this one is if you see in the end here it has a tester in it so I can hit the button here and I can go up against this and if you can see it's beeping that's telling me that yes there's power in this cord again it's induction it's a no contact they call it so I do not have to contact metal wires I can go through insulation with this now this one is also strong enough that on some cases I can go up against the wall and I can kind of follow um, power behind the wall <clears throat> which is a very nice feature that I like. Now the other feature with this is this comes out. Okay. Now they make some strippers and different things that has these same end in it. Now once I have this out I can get into more places and I'm not having a bulky screwdriver in my hand. But I can do the same thing. I can hold the button and I can see and I can hear the audible thing to tell me, yeah, there's power there. It's strong enough that I can go over top the outlets and it'll tell me there's power there. And like I say, you can do some of it behind the wall and you can see. And um, maybe I'll throw at the end, I'll throw a little video of seeing how that does through the wall. Now this is another kind of tester here. Okay, this is your basic outlet um, tester that has three prongs just like any cord would have that you plug into the wall. So what you're going to do is simply plug this in to a wall outlet or whatever you got and you're going to look at these lights. Okay. Now you got two lights here. These are both on and that is what compared to the chart up here is are the right connections and everything's working properly. Now if you have no lights or just one light or a combination of lights or the red lights lit up or whatever you just simply look up on this chart and you can see um, what's wrong. It will pretty much tell you. Now these are good because it tells you again whether your polarity is right. Okay now the importance of polarity is if just say you have a lamp okay and that light bulb got broke out and you want to change the light bulb but the cord somewhere that you can't unplug very easily and you want to be really risky in life and you want to um, change that light bulb okay if your polarity is right and it comes out of the small one um, as your power wire which will also be your black wire in 110 um, and when you plug something in you got two wires going to the lamp one goes to the switch and then goes from the switch into the lamp and the other one comes from the lamp fixture back into the neutral okay now say if you had your wires backwards and the polarity was reversed on this and you went to change that light bulb and you had your switch turned off you would just assume that there was no power at the socket well wrong because if it's wired backwards the power comes up through the cord through the lamp socket and then back down the cord to the switch okay well then your switch from your where it's plugged in to the switch is dead but your lamp um, holder is still alive so that's the reason for polarity if it was wired the right way the electric would come out go to the switch and when you turn the switch off everything from the switch through the lamp back to here would be dead so there you could switch your light bulb or whatever and not have a problem with that. So that's just another little nifty thing because when you plug this in you're really testing all three all three wires at one time. So that's kind of a nice thing about this. Now some of these have what they call a GFI tester in them and I have two different models here and you can see this one has one has a button right here you can push and this one has a button here you can push. Now you can see these are very similar in model. They all pretty much have the lights and a chart on top to tell you when you plug it in exactly what's wrong. Now I'll plug this into a GFI outlet here in a minute and um, 
put a little video at the end here. I'll, I'll show you how this works and trips the GFI outlets. Okay. Here are the testers plugged into a GFI outlet. If you notice the two yellow lights are on so that means everything's wired correctly and everything should be ready to go. But I still want to test the outlet. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit this GFI test button here and whenever I hit that it trips that outlet. So that's telling me that the GFI outlet is working properly. And there you flip it and it comes back on. Okay, here is the tester out of the screwdriver. Okay, here is that outlet again. <clears throat> now, if I hit this, you can see this telling me there's power at that outlet. Alright, now what I was saying earlier about the sensitivity differences, on this one here that come out of the screwdriver, if I hit this button and I start up the wall, I can follow it up the wall here, see? And I know the power goes up through there is why I'm going up through there, but I can follow it and if I come over here, I don't have no no electric. Now when I get over here, I can tell you that the wire is right there. So that's why I'm saying you can kind of follow behind the wall, behind the drywall with this one here because of the way the sensitivity is. Now the other orange one I had, as you can see, I can plug in and it tells me on the outlet what it, you know, I got power there. Now I can take this and rub all over the wall. And because of the sensitivity, it won't pick up. It won't pick it up, okay? So that's where the ones with the sensitivity wheel comes in handy because if you want to follow the wire and you don't know if it comes up out of the top or if it comes off to the side or whatever, that's where the one with the sensitivity that will tell you that comes in handy because you can look through the drywall basically and if this thing is bleeping like that, then you know that you're following a wire behind the drywall. So that was just another little thing I wanted to show you. Okay, so that pretty much covers all of our testers here. Um, hopefully you found this video useful. Um, I'll be coming out with a lot more videos here really soon, so um, you never know what they're going to be on. So just stay tuned and see what I video next.